Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is returning guest, Zoyer Zindel. Zoyer, oh, welcome back to the show. He is with Trans Emotion, and Trans Emotion has got something really special coming up this weekend, April 6th. <coughs> That's a Saturday, and, it, and they're going to have the Transgender Day of Visibility at the Alliant International University. Did I get all that right? Yeah, you did. Well, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm batting at least some. Anyway, <laughs> Zoyer, yeah. tell me. Okay, the... This, now, this is the fourth year that we put this on, right? Yes. So this is the fourth year being put on in Fresno by Trans Emotion. However, the event itself was born in 2010 with some students in the Bay Area decided they think there should be more for the transgender community other than just an annual memorial, which I come on here for, the Day of right. Remembrance. Uh -huh. And that sort of thing. So something a little bit more happy, lively. This event is to celebrate trans humanity, uh -huh. transgender existence, gender diversity in our local community, and and basically highlight the contributions of transgender people in, in our community and in our world. That's important. Yes. It's important because a lot of people never heard of it, and that's just true. Yeah. You know, but, you know, no pun intended, we're coming out into the, into the world. <laughs> have, have, have been for a while, but... You know, it it helps it helps the individual to have things going on in the world that they can personally relate to. Yeah. You know, that it's it's not you know, where they're not feeling different per se, you know. They're they're part of the greater homogeny of the human family mm -hmm. and they and they can participate at that level. And that's great. And so visibility day you know, we're, we're, you know, you said this started in the Bay Area. We've been doing it here. This is be the fourth year here. Yes. Okay. The fourth year. How how's it been the last couple of years? Two three years. Um. So for the last couple of years, it was met with really good reception. Yeah. We have a lot of transgender folks as well as our wonderful allies coming out to celebrate this event with us. And um, at the event, we have we have had in the past few years and will continue to have this year uh art displays we'll have an art auction uh -huh. we'll have an informational fair live entertainment and speakers we will have educational workshops mm -hmm. education as far as transgender 101 okay. and also how to change your name and gender legally and we will have taco trucks i find it uh very important for me to mention well, that i was gonna say you know <laughs> food food yes. you know when food Go for the food, enjoy all the great stuff, but or go for all the great stuff and enjoy the food. Yes. However it is that you can relate to that, it's it's going to be a great day. Uh, it's going to be at Alliant University. Now, is this the first year that it's there? Or? No. We, every year we've had it at Alliant. <clears throat> is it uh, Alliant? Okay. And 2016 was our first year. 2016. And they are on 5130 East Clinton Way, uh, down by the Yosemite Airport yes, down there. Yes, directly so, across. So it's easy to find, and it's, <coughs> it's Saturday, and it starts at 12 p.m. and runs to 4 p.m., so it's mm -hmm. four hours long. And, they're, okay, door prizes, raffles, art auctions, <coughs> face painting classes, vendors, speakers, and drag queens. that yeah. cover it? Yeah, pretty yeah? much. Yeah. And bring your family... This is a family-friendly event. Right. We encourage everybody in the community to attend. You bet. You know, um, for individuals in the community that may not have a, a, a real good understanding, this may be the perfect opportunity for, for people to meet and to realize that we're all people. Mm -hmm. we're, we're all part of the people family. And, you know, ultimately... That's what counts. And that's kind of what I see this event as doing is kind of humanizing trans folk. Okay. And humanizing trans people in Fresno. Right. And so that's and we what have we're a, here we to do. We have a substantial trans community here in Fresno. Yeah, we do. We yeah. do. There's there's a lot of trans people. Right. And we have a lot of trans people who um, are teachers, uh -huh. doctors, right. students. Etc. And so I've always said that, you know, we belong to every single demographic, and so we are part of every facet of the community. And so right. why not invite the community and there you get go. to know us a little bit more? All right, Zoya. Before we we close out, Trans Emotion. How long have you been around? Two thousand six. Okay. Two thousand six. So Trans Emotion, for those that don't know, is a community benefit organization that works to improve the lives of transgender people through education outreach advocacy and support and 
And that's important. You know, I talked about, you know, people having things in, in the community at large that they can relate to, uh, belong, you know, as a, as a part of that belonging to their stuff. And within the transgender community, traditionally and historically, there's, there's been a lot, a, a great need for support for, for people that, you know, they, they just felt ostracized, they felt cut off, they felt alone. And that's for, for an individual human being, that's probably the, the hardest, coldest place to be, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, providing a, a, a forum, you know, where people can gather, come together, learn, grow, learn about themselves, you know. For sure. And, and, and relate, you know, having people, like-minded, like like-people to people that they can, you know, experience life with. Yeah. You know, and, and, and it's important. And I think that's a great, you know, I think it's a great thing that Trans Emotion is doing for our trans community here. And that's awesome. Yeah, I appreciate your yeah. support. So, all right, listen, again, it's April 6th at Alliant International University on Clinton, 5130 East Clinton, across from the uh, airport there. Again, April 6th, 12 to 4 p.m., a lot of good things, a lot of educational things, a lot of support things, and good food. <laughs> you know, there's mm -hmm. something there for everybody. Show up, learn, grow, get supported, and I'll see you when we come back.